بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم النهاردة إن شاء الله هناخد المحاضرة التالتة في الكوزماتكس Vitalizing creams What are vitalizing creams? Vitalizing creams are creams used to stimulate the blood flow and cell renewal Vitalizing creams are creams or are group of creams that contains vitamins we are going to take some examples of vitamins used in the vitalizing creams. The first one is vitamin A. Vitamin A is also called retinol. What is the main function of vitamin A? It improves the dry and scaly skin, improves light-induced skin damage, maybe due to um, excessive exposure to sunlight, which causes severe skin damage this case can be uh, treated using vitamin A. Also, vitamin A has an anti-aging properties and acts as an anti-aging agent. The second group of vitamins are vitamin B group. Vitamin B group includes several types of vitamins like nicotinamide, uh, dexapantenone, biotin, folic acid. Each one from these vitamins has um, uh, a specific effect on the skin. Let's start with nicotine amide. In nicotine amide can stabilize the skin barriers, keeping the skin barriers intact without any um, deformation, so can keep the uh, stored mo moisture content without any evaporation. Also, nicotinamide smoothens the wrinkles and um, tightens the wrinkles making the skin looks younger without any um, signs of a severe aging. Also, nicotinamide has an anti-inflammatory effect in several um, skin diseases. The second type is dexapantenol. Dexapantenol, um, as we all know, has a moisturizing effect, keeping and storing the moisture content of the skin has an anti-inflammatory effect. Also, dexapantenol is unique in having regenerative healing effect. It can stimulate the production of new cells. It can stimulate the tissue regeneration in the skin, so it has good wound healing properties. Dexapantenol, due to its regenerative and healing properties, is called the beauty vitamin. The third one is biotin. Biotin improves the skin structure. It keeps the skin intact. It keeps the barrier structures intact. So it improves the skin structure. The fourth one is folic acid. Folic acid, as we all know, is a strong anti-aging agent. It's um, included in several anti-aging creams. You will find that folic acid is one of the ingredients of an anti-aging creams. And it's used in very small amounts. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C is very, very, very important in um, treating an aged skin and in retarding the aging process. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C can be used in collagen senses, can be used in collagen senses and stimulation of uh, collagen senses. Also, it compatible free radicals. Uh, free radicals are the main cause of uh, aging. By competing and preventing those free radicals, we can keep our skin um, uh, um, in its use appearance without um, enhancing the aging process. So aged skin cannot produce collagen. Aged skin uh, um, is highly affected by free radicals. To stop or to retard the aging process, so we need to stimulate the uh, collagen senses any haga, we need to compete the free radicals, which has an oxidizing effect affecting the skin and enhancing the aging process. 
The last one is vitamin E, and it's called also tocopherol. Tocopherol has an antioxidant pro uh, properties, antioxidant properties, so it has the ability to compatible free radicals and to stop the oxidation process, which enhances the aging process. Then it has cell regenerating and anti-inflammatory properties. Also, it reduces the skin damage caused by UV radiation, by exposure to sunlight. So, uh, um, can cause an oxidation or can damage the skin by excessive exposure to sunlight. So, vitamin E can reduce the skin damage produced by UV radiation. The third type of creams is the smoothing creams. We talked before the moisturizing creams and also the vitalizing creams, but a good cosmetic cream should contain natural vegetable oils in an amount from three to 10%. A good cosmetic cream should contain vegetable oils in an amount of three to 10%. As we all know, and we'll know why, as we all know that creams can be oil and water emulsions or water in oil emulsions. Oil and water emulsions, the dominant phase is the aqueous phase. While in water in oil, the dominant phase is the oily phase. So the amount of oils present or lipid present in the oil and water emulsions ranges between 10 and 20%. While uh, in water in oil emulsion, it ranges between 20 and 30%. What is the importance of um, incorporating vegetable oils or lipid components in the cosmetic creams? Because it prevents water loss through the skin by strengthening the lipid barrier layer. Hence, softening and smoothing the stratum corneum and reducing any skin, any possible skin inflammation. So by incorporating oils or lipids in the creams, we can strengthen the lipid barrier, hence the soften and uh, smoothing the stratum cornea. In conclusion, we can keep or can store the moisture or the natural moisture content in the skin, and we can prevent the TEWL. What is the TEWL? It's the trans epidermal water loss. We prevent the water loss through the epiderms. Finally, we are having a refatting effect. We are having a refatting effect. What is the meaning of refatting? A refatting agent is an ingredient in cosmetic formulations that provides the skin with the fat it needs. It's an ingredient that provides the skin with the normal fat content it needs. Hence, it strengthens the lipid barrier or the lipid layer and reduces the evaporation and increases the moisture content of the skin. This is the refatting effect. Fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated. We found that the unsaturated fatty acids in an amount less than 20% are called non-drying oils. Non-drying oils. Why they are called non-drying oils? Because they are absorbed slowly into the skin and they are ideal for the treating of dry and stressed skin. How? This non-drying oil contain fatty acids similar to the lipids of the skin. They mimic the nature or the lipidic nature of the skin. So they enable the skin to store the moisture content in the deep skin layers, exerting a very strong refatting effect. This refatting effect will result in preventing the TEWL effect, the transepidermal water loss, keeping the normal moisture content inside the skin and in the deep skin tissues will um, keep our skin soft and prevent the appearance of any dry or stressed skin. Good vegetable oil. In vegetable oil or in glycerides. Glycerides contain fatty acids ranging between C12 and C20. 
for treating or for dealing with the skin, C18 fatty acids are the most ideal, especially the unsaturated ones. So fatty acids can affect the formulation or can affect our skin by two factors. We need to check the number of carbon chain. We need to check the saturation state, whether uh, either saturated or unsaturated. Formulators found that omega-6 fatty acids like gamma-linolenic acids are very beneficial for the skin. Can we use free fatty acids as they are in the cosmetic creams or they should be used in another form? You should all know that free fatty acids cannot and should not be used as they are in cosmetic creams because they are very incompatible with the skin causing irritations and inflammations. So how we can solve this problem? We can use free fatty acids in the form of esterified oils or glycerides. We will esterify these free fatty acids and use it in the form of oil or glycerides. After incorporating the glycerides in the creams or in after application on the skin, يحصل hydrolytic cleavage للtriglycerides. Hydrolytic cleavage for the triglycerides takes place, and the release of fatty acids occurs gradually and exerts its effect. We are going to take some examples on saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. Let's start with the saturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids like lauric acid, myristic, balmetic, stearic acid. As you can see that the carbonate chain is increasing as we go downwards. All these acids are unsat uh, sorry, are saturated. They contain um, they contain no unsaturation. Let's start with the lauric acid. The lauric acid um, is rapidly absorbed to the skin, which is very good. It has an antimicrobial and fungicidal effect. It's well distributed and creates a smooth skin. It can soften the skin. This short carbon chain fatty acid can lower the viscosity. Yani the produced cream will have lower viscosity because the carbonate chain is short. Myristic acid, C14, has an antimicrobial effect. While palmitic acid, C16, it's a normal component of the skin sepa. However, its production decreases with age. Its production decreases with age. Uh, for mature skin or for aged skin, balmetic acid should be contained or should be sorry, incorporated in um, specific amounts in the creams. However, balmetic acid is slightly comedogenic. What is the meaning of comedogenic? Comedogenic is the um, uh, ability or is the tendency of uh, balmetic acid to clog the pores and encourage the formation and the appearance of blackheads. Excessive use or presence of palmitic acid in excessive amounts can have a comedogenic effect and the appearance of blackheads on the skin. The last one is stearic acid C18. It forms a film on the skin and prevents the water evaporation and the sebum flow out. Also, it has a slight comedogenic effect. As a net result, um, we need to know that saturated fatty acids have slight refatting effect. It's not a strong refatting agent. It's not a strong refatting agent, but it's a slight refatting effect. And we need to know that people with diseased and bad and stressed skin should not use creams with high concentration of saturated oils, should not use creams with high concentration of saturated oils. Unsaturated fatty acids like oleic, linoleic, and linolenic. Oleic is 
C18. It's uh, readily absorbed and distributed. It acts as an enhancer, making the skin lipid barrier more permeable and receptive to lipophilic influence. It increases, it, it acts as um, a permeability enhancer. It acts as a, per, a permeability enhancer, so it increases the um, uh, uh, receptive of lipophilic ingredients to reach deep skin layers. High content of oleic acids produce pleasant moist skin feeling. You like your skin feeling, it's moist, it's pleasant, it's soft, so it has a pleasant effect on the skin. Linoleic acid, it's C18, and it has two unsaturated bonds. We all know that the stratum corneum contains ceramides, which exist as lipid by layer and control the water balance in the skin. You need to know that linoleic acid forms the large percentage of ceramides. So any deficiency of linoleic acid in the skin will affect the water balance in the skin, will lead to an excessive evaporation and an excessive loss of the moisture content of the skin. Also, linoleic acid supports the elimination of any skin irritation. Uh, in acne, linoleic acid is reduced in the sebum, resulting in a blocked pores and the formation of comedies. So the deficiency of linoleic acid is a symptom of the acne, in the acne, and is the cause of the appearance of the blackheads and the comedies. Linoleic acid also is needed for a good structure of the cell membranes. The last one is gamma linolenic acid, C16, and it has three unsaturated bonds. It represents a raw material for the group of tissue hormones, such as the prostaglandins. Yeah, linolenic acid is um, a raw material for the formation of the tissue hormones, like the prostaglandins. Any haga, it supports uh, the elimination of any skin irritation. It it prevents the appearance of any irritation, the occurrence of any irritation. Also, like linoleic acid, it's needed for a perfect structure of cell membranes. Fatty acid deficiency in the skin. Uh, we will find that younger people do not suffer from fatty acid deficiency in the skin. However, by uh, aging, when we are above 40 or 45 years old, we will find that our skin uh, lacks some of the fatty acids. Our skin will lack some of the fatty acids. This is the main cause of the fatty acid deficiency in the skin, which is aging. The second cause is due to an incorrect diet, due to an incorrect diet. Uh, if our diet is not balanced, so we will suffer from a fatty acid deficiency and diseases which lead to disturbances of the barrier function. The TEWL effect increases and the skin becomes dry with poor wound healing property if we have fatty acid deficiency. So fatty acid deficiency can be due to aging, can be due to incorrect diet. What are the consequences? If we have fatty acid deficiency, we will have disturbed barrier function. This disturbed barrier function will lead to excessive water loss. As we can see in the picture, this is a skin with a barrier integrity intact. Any external irritants will not affect the skin and the moisture will be circulating inside the skin without any loss. However, skin with barrier integrity damaged, we will have external irritants will affect the skin integrity and we will have excessive water 
loss. This excessive water loss is called the transepidermal water loss, اللي هو ال TEWL. A deficiency of linoleic and linolenic acid leads to a disruption of the normal skin barrier. Deficiency of any of the fatty acids like linoleic and linolenic acids leads to a disruption of the normal skin barrier, increasing the water loss effect. A linolenic acid is missing in a neurodermatic skin. This is a, a type of a skin disease. Uh, which includes um, uh, inflammation and irritation. A linoleic acid, uh, if uh, um, we have deficiency in a, lin in, in a linoleic acid, we will suffer from neurodermatic skin. Neurodermatitis is a skin condition characterized by chronic itching or scale. A lack of these hormones, which are 